Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to start off with a reading with some oracle messages and I'll get into the tarot. For those of you interested in a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my tarot training is down below. So we have changes coming out. It could be some changes to your career. We have performance evaluation. Spirit, what are the messages? Shopping. I just got with that for some of you, you could be... Um, could be watching your spending. We have payday. I don't know why they just told me financial advice. For some of you, you could be getting some financial advice. You're like a financial advisor. Uh, we have selling. For some of you, maybe opening up a business or selling things that you create or providing services for people. Spirit, what are the love messages for Aquarius? They just told me car shopping as well. Uh, we have dishonesty by lying. I ripped us apart. And we have neglected. I failed to give you what you need. So with these two cards here, I'm getting that somebody here was, I feel like for some of you, it could have been like, yeah, they were straight up dishonest. But I'm feeling like for a lot of you, maybe there's somebody here that just hasn't communicated very well with you. Or I'm just, I'm just getting with this neglected card. Maybe they just aren't giving you what you need. They're not putting in the energy that you need to like pursue this whatever this is if this is a connection or friendship whatever um someone's not reciprocating is kind of what i'm getting uh we do have soul contract here so you can feel very strongly connected to someone it says the lessons i've learned from us will never be forgotten we have runner i don't want to run anymore and we have missed opportunity i didn't act when i should have so yeah kind of what i was getting that somebody's not they're not giving you what you need is kind of what I'm getting here. Uh, we have unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way I planned. Overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. So, yeah, somebody may feel like they missed an opportunity with you. Maybe they ran too much from this. And I'm feeling like for some of you, you're the one running from it now. Spirit, what are the messages for Aquarius? The Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords, this is worrying. Um, this could be you. This could be your person. I feel like somebody stays up thinking about... Yeah, they feel very overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. The Ten of Wands. like, and I feel like with these two cards together, someone cannot get you out of their head. And I, get, I feel like it's getting to the point to where it is overwhelming the tower like i feel like something's gonna happen here that may surprise you with this person it does feel like love for some of you it could just be like you just have a lot going on right now um you could feel overwhelmed just like a home situation with this tower energy we got the five of swords with the hermit so yeah i'm feeling like for some of you, you i've just got a very specific message for some of you, you could be trying to get away from somebody that's manipulative um virgo energy here also scorpio for a lot of you, I feel like you're just going into hermit mode, trying to um, do what's best for you. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. For a lot of you, you're stepping into this Nine of Pentacles, just worrying about yourself, focus on yourself, not dealing with anybody's bullshit, with anybody's manipulation. We have the star. For a lot of you, you're just getting back to your own energy, healing yourself, focusing on yourself. We have the Three of Cups energy here. So there could be someone here that wants to reconcile with you, but I'm feeling like with this Three of Cups right now, you could just be doing things that make you happy hanging out with people with like high vibrations uh we do have the knight of pentacles energy here for some of you there could be an earth sign that's significant um taurus virgo capricorn uh we do have the ace of pentacles here as well so for a lot of you i just got job change for some of you there could be a job change here um for some of you, you could be balancing like a job and a business two jobs two businesses like you could just be very overwhelmed when it comes to your personal life um but i feel like for some of you there could be someone in your life that is overwhelming you or their energy is just it's too much with this tower uh, with this tower i'm getting shit's gonna hit the fan that's kind of what i'm getting here in a situation you may find out that somebody is being like manipulative with this five of swords what is the nine of swords energy here i just got someone's afraid to lose you why is the nine of swords here yeah clarifying the nine of swords is the nine of swords so i'm getting with this that this is about another person you both are fee you both are like overthinking the situation. You both are thinking about uh, maybe how things are going or how things aren't going. You both think about each other a lot. Give me more on the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> the Hermit again. So 
I feel like you both are matching energies here. You both are kind of realizing something, learning something. I feel like you and your person are both in hermit mode. And it's like you're right now you're pouring into yourself so you can pour into each other. With the Six of Pentacles, this is equal give and take type of energy. <clears throat> I feel like you both are working on your individual selves. Why is the Ten of Wands energy here? I'm getting why for some of you, maybe this is why this is, hasn't come together yet. Because you both, or at least your person here, is about to go through some major changes. I feel like this tower, it could be your tower. Maybe you're already going through the tower. But I feel like this is also your person's energy here as well. Clarifying the Ten of Wands, we have the King of Wands. I see you working really hard. <clears throat> for some of you, you could be dealing with the Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But I'm kind of feeling like this King of Wands is you taking action towards what it is that you want. A lot of you could be working very hard right now, pursuing new things. Uh, clarifying the tower we have the page of wands so yeah for a lot of you you could just be like there could be like an abrupt change in your job situation what is the page of wands here with the tower an opportunity may come out of nowhere <clears throat> the nine of wands yeah i'm feeling like i'm just looking at these cards like this path looks treacherous is what i'm getting i feel like you've been on a very difficult path towards something for a lot of you this is going to be career maybe you've had a lot of ups and downs when it comes to career living situations even maybe there's just been a lack of stability we have the five of pentacles the seven of swords yeah i feel like for i'm, I'm talking to a group in aquarius today that have gone through it the seven of swords you've dealt with liars you've dealt with manipulators and right now, I feel like you're just trying to find your own way, trying to find your own path with this uh, Hermit card. I feel like for some of you, you may like kind of out of nowhere discover what you're supposed to be doing. we got the Hermit and the Star. I see you finding your path here very, very soon. <clears throat> I feel like the shit you've dealt with, like this is, this is all about to change for you. And if this is not your energy, this could be your person's energy. Like if this is not you, your person is going through it. The Tower... This Nine of Wands energy, the Ten of Wands, feeling overwhelmed. Why is the Five of Swords here? Like, I feel like somebody's having a breakdown before they have a breakthrough. Like, I'm definitely getting that very strongly. Um, yeah, I, and I feel like on top of all of this that they're going through, they're watching you. But if I was the Page of Swords here. I mean, we're done with the Gemini. The moon. Yeah, they secretly watch you. Cancer and Pisces energy. The Hierophant. Yeah, I feel like this person, like the Hierophant, it's like, I feel like they're watching you get your shit together. They're watching you be dedicated to what it is that you're, you're doing or trying to accomplish. I feel like you're inspiring this person to get their shit together. Why is the Hermit card here? The Seven of Wands. Yeah, for a lot of you, you don't even want no distractions right now. Like, you are just... I also am getting as well, there could be people trying to distract you. And it could be due to, like, maybe they're jealous of your progress. <clears throat> Why is the Seven of Wands energy here? The Chariot. The chariot. Ten of Cups, the Two of Wands. <clears throat> Someone's being guided towards you. With this Ten of Cups and the Two of Wands, I feel like somebody can see themselves being with you. Could be a Cancer. Why is the Two of Wands energy here? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is being guided to make an offer to you. Could be an Earth sign. Somebody's moved very slow with this. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? And I feel like for a lot of you, this tower could have been in the past for a lot of you. Like, I feel like by the end of this month, or like this could be where you're at now, you're sitting at the Nine of Pentacles energy, just like doing you. Things are good. Money's coming in. Opportunities are coming in. The Fool. You are really inspiring someone to do the same. That's kind of what I'm getting. Like, people see you just working and not being distracted. <clears throat> or just cutting out distractions these can even be friends here that are like you're inspiring why is the full card energy here justice 
Yeah, I feel like somebody wants to bring balance into a situation with you. I just got clear the air as well. Somebody might want to clear the air. Give me one of that justice card. Give me deal with the Aries. I also have um, Libra here. Yeah, I'm feeling like somebody or there's someone. This could be like a friend or like a frenemy, family member. Someone is jealous of, I feel like the opportunities that are coming in, but I feel like somebody is jealous of like that you found balance, that you've, you've whatever this tower was, you got out of it or you're getting out of it. Why is the star card here? You're healing yourself and somebody's jealous of that. Actually, give me more than that five of wands. <clears throat> give me a Leo. Temperance. Yeah, it's like somebody is jealous of the balance that you found. Like maybe I'm getting, I'm getting like a very specific situation as well. Like say this happened to you and someone else. Say you, this tower, like say you both got kicked out of your place or something. Like you are immediately working hard getting on your feet this other person not so much like it feels like a situation like that whether you guys have went through this tower together or these are two separate towers or something you are getting your shit together and bouncing back while this other person isn't and i feel like they're they're a bit jealous of your progress see so why is the star card energy here the world yeah, new beginnings are coming for you. Opportunities are coming for you. It's because you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy. You're taking care of yourself. A ton of wands. Like, you've worked your ass off to get to this Nine of Pentacles energy. Why is it Three of Cups here? Like people could be talking about you as well. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to be celebrating some sort of opportunity when it comes to your money or just some sort of success when it comes to your money. For some of you, there could be a lump sum or inheritance coming your way. Why is the Knight of Pentacles energy here? The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like, and I feel like you've worked very hard for what you have. You could have worked for this for a very long time. You're seeing growth. Like, there's going to be a lot of growth here. But somebody, you might cut off someone for this. Because, like, I feel like somebody is just not satisfied in their own life. So maybe they're just kind of shitting on what you got going on. The Tower. Yeah, because it's like somebody, you've got yourself out of this energy. And this person, I feel like maybe they just haven't put in the work that you've been putting in. Maybe they've been distracted. Whatever this is, this person's seeing growth in your life and they're very jealous. Got the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here too. Like some sort of blessing is coming in for you. They see success here for you. I'm also getting as well, if we're talking about getting a very specific message, if we're talking about a love interest that slept on you, that missed this opportunity with you, that ran away from the situation because maybe they maybe they got you at a bad time like maybe this person met you while you were going through this tower now that you're like good and everything maybe this person wants to come back or this person is like jealous um i feel like for a lot of you you're not even paying attention to this person anymore you're just very focused on yourself and you don't care to have any distractions right now spirit what is the overall advice for aquarius the knight of cups Okay, so there could be offers coming in here. The Sun card. Yep, the Empress, the King of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. So advice for those of you that are just working on you, doing what you do. Advice is to keep going. I see a lot of happiness and a lot of abundance coming in for you. If you're wanting to pursue like business or something like that, advice is to do so. We do have this selling card here. So for some of you, you could be opening up your own business. Uh, but with this Nine of Wands, I'm feeling like advice king of swords and the nine of wands keep your boundaries up um just with everyone i don't even feel like it's necessarily towards a specific person but um keep your boundaries up and continue to have your focus on you um on the top of this empress card it says one 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 for some of you can be seeing that number this is just the universe telling you that your manifestations are coming in the work that you're doing um your prayers are being answered type of thing with this star card you're getting exactly what you want and it's due to the work and the dedication you're putting in on yourself so I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read tarot, my tarot training is down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.